Welcome back, this is Tridius with another episode in the Miami Dolphins franchise. We're at 0 and 6 and uh, MIA is short for Missing in Action or uh, Mission Impossible. Um, as much as it stands for Miami. We're currently 0 and 6. What a bad start to the season. I'm, I'm a bit speechless to be honest. Uh, pretty frustrated as well. Um, we started, I would say, quite well with the loss, but that was to be expected. Terrible result against the Ravens then. Good game against the Bills, all things considered. Then a good game against the Bengals. A very good game against the Jets. And in overtime, we lost due to a safety. And that was super annoying. And then against the Vikings. And the Vikings game was, I don't know, a boiling point for me because it was... Uh, it, I just felt so stifled by the offense, uh, by the defense. Uh, we did trade uh, Van Ginkel last week, so I do think that that uh, pushed us forward a little bit on the defensive side. But on offense, we had to act. And that is what I did uh, because our offensive line was just so bad, so bad, so weak. So I went into the free agent section and I looked for veteran players that would be able to push us forward. And I found two players that uh, will improve our uh, our offensive line, hopefully quite quickly, to be honest. One of those is Dwayne Brown. He's at 37 years old out of Virginia Tech, 79 overall. He looks to be quite solid. He's number 20 ranked left tackle in the game. I'm using him as a right tackle at the moment over Liam Eikenberg and uh, over Austin Jackson. Uh, sorry, Austin Jackson and Greg Little. There we go. That's what I wanted to say. Um, Liam Eikenberg uh, is over here at the left tackle, third spot. Uh, we're mixing and matching a little bit here. Um, and then we've got Jason Peters. Jason Peters, 40 years old, out of Arkansas, uh, with a pretty high strength rating, very solid looking overall impact block awareness, number 13 ranked left guard. I do hope that he will help us as well. These two are on a one year contract, uh, dragging down our our salary cap quite a bit but uh not to worry um i do think that uh yeah, i mispressed the button there um i shuffled the squad around a little bit here i'm gonna go with raheem mustard as the starter um chase edmonds um maybe 26 years old maybe i should try chase edmonds as my starter i don't know i think i'm with raheem mustard here but uh, we're gonna go with chase edmonds Let's see, maybe he can he can turn things around. Um, apart from that, most of the depth chart is unchanged. It just keeps resetting over and over. We improved the D-tackle here. We brought in Hamilton from uh, the Saints. Uh, that was a trade offer for uh, Van Ginkel, who was 27 and 77 rated. So uh, behind Ingram anyways, we weren't getting rid of Ingram because he's, he's solid and needed this season as a band-aid so we're gonna hold on to that player and i do think that this will give us a little bit more of a better chance to to really get going uh third running back here we're gonna go with chase Edmonds, sony michelle here and uh, apart from that nothing new to add we will take a look at players that are ready to negotiate and uh, yeah, no news here. Melvin Ingram, Eric Rowe, Thomas Morstead, Dwayne Brown. Of course, he will need a new contract. Jason Peters will need a new contract, but those are way too expensive. So I will not be resigning them. That just makes sense. They're just uh, bridge players and nothing more. Uh, Sony Michel is here. We would be able to negotiate with him. I'm just a little bit unsure. I do want to wait with that for 4.7 on the cap space. Miles Gaskin is here as well. Preston Williams will be available at a later time. Lana Roberts, Sheldrick, Redwine. So I think we will have to be making quite a few tough choices here. Uh, quite a few not tough choices as well. Um, uh, but uh, I want to retain the younger players at least. Uh, see if we can't uh, develop them further. Like a wide receiver Preston Williams here or Miles Gaskin. Uh, Sony Michelle maybe. And so on and so forth. So that is basically the gist of it. That is what we're going to be doing over the course um, of uh, this regular season. But for the moment, we're gonna focus on our next opponents, uh, the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. We traded Teddy Bridgewater to them, which now gives them four uh, quarterbacks, Teddy Bridgewater, Mitch Trubisky, Kenny Pickett, and Mason Rudolph. And Kenny Pickett is a weird one because he's a rookie actually, 
Um, it doesn't look too bad, but a 67 overall rating and a normal Tev trade, so I, he looks to be pretty unusable. But uh, never mind, we're facing Teddy Bridgewater, which is going to be fun. Halfback is Najee Harris. He's a very good halfback, superstar Dave Trey, 24 years old, super balanced, great uh, running back. When I played, uh, when I did the rebuild of uh, the Steelers last season, um, it was just super fun. And and uh, yeah, he, he was so great. Uh, Najee Harris, really brilliant running back. Fullback is Derek Watt. Uh, wide receiver Deontay Johnson, 85 rating, superstar Dave Trey, a very, very good wide receiver behind him we've got Cole Beasley with uh, the short hair this time around uh, actually pretty nice hair physics up there with the man bun uh, 30 ranked wide receiver just a very solid veteran wide receiver just uh, nothing more to add to that uh, Chase Claypool is there George Pickens is there that's a rookie Calvin Austin another rookie but uh, George Pickens is the one that I'm going to be looking at uh, he has the high speed acceleration catching catching traffic so a very balanced wide receiver room, two very good wide receivers, uh, a very solid wide receiver, uh, two solid wide receivers, and then a decent one down here. The tight end is Pat Frymuth, 79 rated, 23 years old with a star death trait. He will only get better over time. Uh, for the moment, I would say very solid. Jay Sternberger, Connor Hayward are the other rookies, uh, are the other tight ends. Left tackle, Dan Moore and Joe Haig. Uh, nothing too crazy there. Um, they are decent, I would say. Uh, Kevin Dodson, Keaton Sutherland, a bit on the weak side. Uh, Matt Paradis, uh, solid center. Mason Cole behind him. Right guard is James Daniel, 79 rated. Solid choice. Nate Gilliam behind him. And Chukwuma Okorafor, 70 rated. That's a decent choice. But uh, the offensive line not looking too tough, to be honest. Defense is a different picture. Larry Ogunjobi is the left edge behind him to Marvin Leal, a rookie, and Isaiah Laramilk with the double H, which I find very important in the pronunciation when you go Isaiah. All right, that, that joke handled. Uh, we're going to switch over to the right edge. We've got Cameron Hayward here. He's a veteran, of course, superstar X-Factor, uh, fourth-ranked right end in the game. Power moves, tackle, block shading, player recognition, strength awareness, just so high. He will be very dangerous. Henry Mondo behind him. Uh, D-tackle Tyson Alualu uh, with an 81 rating, also a bit on the older side, but a solid choice. Montrevious Adams, Marlon Tuipu, wait up, Tuipulotu, all right, there we go, Tuipulotu, and Khalil Davis are all the other D-tackles. Uh, left outside linebacker TJ Watt, yeah, he's going to be coming for a superstar X-factor. Wow, looking a bit like uh, Chris Hemsworth here, number one ranked left outside linebacker. This will be tough. We just faced a very tough linebacking core. Uh, Miles Jack, luckily injured. Devin Bush and Buddy Johnson will be the mid linebackers. Devin Bush, certainly a very solid choice. Right outside linebacker, Alex Highsmith, 75 overall, 25 years of age, number 56. Let's remember that. He's a solid choice. Um, will be getting better over time. Derek Tuska. Cornerback, Akello Witherspoon, Levi Wallace. These two definitely solid choices. Uh, Cameron Sutton, also a very good corner with the high speed acceleration and agility. James Pierre um, is not a rookie, but uh, with the speed, the acceleration, agility, jumping, he is going to be dangerous despite his other, other attributes being pretty low. And finally, Justin Lane, another future starter in the cornerback room. Free safety, Minka Fitzpatrick. That's an elite uh, free safety right there. Now we're going to have to beat fifth ranked free safety in the game. Tree Norwood out of Oklahoma and strong safety Terrell Edmonds. Just look at that slight face. Jesus Christ, he's going to be stopping us. Uh, speed, acceleration, hit power, super high. That's a very strong, strong safety, pun intended. Carl Joseph is injured. Kicker is Chris Boswell and the punter is Presley Harvin, the third. Okay, with all of that taken into consideration, we're going to head into the weekly strategy. Defensive game plan. What are we going to do here? Defend the outside run. That would probably make sense. Unless we're going to go for the short pass. Um, I just feel like uh, Najee Harris is dangerous. We're going to go with the full pass, but we're going to go with the splits. We have 100% fatigue, so we can, we can work with that. 
uh, the offensive game plan, the inside run, that is an interesting choice, especially against a player like Derek Watt. But then again, let's, let's see what we can do here. I'm not convinced that Chase Edmonds is the guy to go with here. I do think that we need to bring in a tough, quick and very strong halfback to really succeed um, in that area. But uh, then again, not quite sure what the best course of action is here. We are going to train Austin Jackson um, to a Tiger Valua, Jalen Phillips. The game plan goal will be two passing touchdowns. Okay, we're going to get one interception. Defensive coordinator, 30 points or less. That is a very conservative. Um, the offensive coordinator going all out here. Don't believe that we'll be able to do that. Five offensive touchdowns seems to be a little bit crazy. But there we go. Let's start training. Defense has completed training and here we are. No injuries in sight. A lot of bonus experience points. What about offense? Let's not have any injuries here either. A lot of bonus experience points of turf toe for Tyrone Armstead. Come on, man. My best left tackle and we will instantly have to reshuffle uh, the offensive line as if we wouldn't have enough problems already. All right, we're going to go with Austin Jackson on the left, Jason Peters, Connor Williams, Robert Hunt, and Dwayne Brown. Solomon Kindley is an option as well, but actually he's not higher rated than anybody else we're using. So we're just going to leave it as is. We're going to upgrade the players. We're going to upgrade the staff, and then we're going to be into the game. Austin Jackson actually gets an upgrade here towards Agile. Due to the moral debuff, we are still minus one pass block, run block, finesse. Quincy Wilson, a strong safety, will get a hybrid upgrade here. He's 26, yeah, 26 out of Florida. And Miles Gaskin will also get an upgrade here. I would like to make him my running back number one for the future. But then again, I'm not quite sure if he will be able to pull that off. Staff upgrades, we're going to take care of that as well here. Going to put that into 10% uh, talent point reef, and I just want to get down here, to be honest. And uh, make the upgrades of the coordinators as cheap as possible. Hard Rock Stadium, home venue of the Miami Dolphins. We're going to be hosting the Pittsburgh Steelers in a Sunday night primetime game. Zayvon Howard here, four tackles, two receptions last week. He had a good game, gonna need it, facing off against Teddy Bridgewater, former uh, Miami Dolphin. I was about to say LA Rams, still deep, deep inside of me from the LA Rams franchise. But here we go, really like the new animation when the teams head out onto the field. Now it's the Dolphins' turn to get out there to uh, first on the pitch. And uh, we're gonna, gonna play now, gonna kick off the game. 4 minutes 58 after the kick we were receiving, obviously. And we're gonna give Chase Edmonds a go now. Let's see if our improved offensive line can have some effect here. Oh my god. <laughs> we are facing an extremely tough defense. Um, I'm under no illusion, but uh, I think they're an 87 overall or something like that. Now, with those two edge rushers, I'm uh, I'm not fearful, but I'm respectful. I just know what they're capable of. I know how quickly they can be on us. Um, and uh, I know how difficult it will be to uh, score here in this game. But uh, nevertheless, this is what we what we need to do. We need we need a win. We need to score and we need to finally taste a little bit of success here didn't have that up to now zero and six as uh, the and that's a secure catch there we go tyree kill and as the dolphins have lost at every opportunity and in all ways possible we lost against the against the ravens in an extremely extremely bad way um we lost against the Patriots. We lost against the... Alright, how far can we go? It's a fumble. 
All right, don't like seeing that, but then uh, ball is recovered to get a two-yard gain here. Oh, man. <laughs> First uh, run here by Chase Edmonds, or was it a second one? And uh, immediately, immediately a fumble. I'm not convinced that he's the right... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was waiting for um, for someone to, to get free here, but it uh, wasn't really happening actually and uh, JJ Watt breaking through super quick on the right side here but nobody was free nobody had any separation I was thinking maybe now I could get the ball to Jalen Waddle who's running here I do think that he would have been a possibility or Gesicki now but uh, no time here the offensive line crumbling so fast so quickly all right, let's see. Can we get Jalen Waddle into position? Uh, can we get the first down? That would be my target. Nope. Pushed away by defense. Fourth and 23 to uh, not connecting. We're going to go for a punt here. Slightly inaccurate by Thomas Morstead. And that's a flag. That is roughing the kicker. And uh, come on, just take him down so that the ref can uh, go for the flag. Personal foul, roughing a kicker, defense. Okay, so what does that mean? We get another first down. Ooh, that's a lifeline. Thank you so much. Automatic first down. Unnecessary roughing defender. We're inching forward, two minutes and eight seconds. Now, uh, in the first quarter, can we get a run here? Come on, man. But it's not happening. Uh, it is Hayward and uh, what these two are just uh, very, very tough to beat. Can we get Kisiki? Maybe let's try and put Tyreek Hill on a slant towards the right hand side. Kisiki or Hill. Good catch here by our tight end. Didn't really get a lot of separation there. But uh, that's a lot of complicated plays. I would just like to have a very simple one. Let's go to Mesh here. Wilson or Kisiki, one of these two. We should be able to get the three yards. There we go, secure catch. Get the first down. Keep moving ahead. And the offensive line held a bit longer now as a Kisiki drags the feet. That's actually a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice catch by him. Chase Edmonds, how far can we get up the field now? Oh my god, yeah. That's Hayward. One yard. We're not really getting anywhere here. So we're going to go with a mesh switch now. I want to get Jalen Waddle, but Tyree Kill is also an option. Chase Edmonds, not so much. But who will be free? Smacked away by the defender here, who just comes forward. He smacks the ball away. And Jalen Waddle not getting there on time. As we're going to go for Tyree Kill now. Three seconds on the clock in the first quarter. Hut, hut. There we go. Oh, man. Tyree Kill. He had the ball in his hands. He was falling down from the jump. And I thought he would have the ball. But he couldn't hold on to it. 52-yard field goal. Super windy here. Oh my god. Let's go with this. That actually doesn't... Are you... Was that inside? Was that... Was that short? Oh my god. What good is a kicker that can't hit a 50-yard goal? 
I think I think we have to do something about the kicking situation because that is that is not really bearable. I don't really get it because he doesn't have such a bad power statistic here. Oh my god, Chase Edmonds, come on! ATR is on the run here. Got quickly, uh, fast enough, luckily. Uh, how far can we go now? Do we go the run? I think we have to go for the outside runs. Let's try another one, left hand side. <clears throat> It's going to be Smythe and Long who are going to be clearing a little bit of a way here. What's that flag? What's that flag going to be for? Holding Come on. Jason Peters. We're supposed to be a veteran. Tyson Alualu picks up an injury here for the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's interesting that Kenny Pickett is not playing. And second and 11, so we were pushed back nine yards. Oh lord. Let's go with the dagger. Cedric Wilson would be nice, but I think we're gonna have to settle for Kasiki. There we go. Oh, that's actually way better than I thought. It's gonna be taken down by number 34. But we get a first down, and uh, Cedric Wilson. Really got up the pitch quite nicely here. Very nice separation. Getting away from his opposite number. That was nice. That was a that was a nice run. Let's see. Can we get Sony Michel going? Alec Ingold will be blocking a little bit. Three minutes and twelve seconds on the clock now. Let's go. Yeah. Eight yards, no, one yard. Let's go to the southeast corner. We don't have to rush things though, um, but I just feel like Tyreek Hill would be an option. Oh my god, get the ball away, get the ball away for once. I keep pressing the button and he, he's not doing it. Well, that is slightly annoying. What you doing, Tua? And I started pressing the button here because I saw I saw him coming two defenders on me 42 and JJ Watt from the outside 56 and I pressed I pressed I pressed and nothing happening just happy that we held on to the ball to be honest third and 19 at the 44 Jalen Waddle would be great but will we have enough time for that play to develop? Oh my god, alright. Drag down, out of bounds. What is it? Fourth and seven. 49 yard field goal. Miles Sanders. Do you think you could do that for me? Oh god damn it. That's me mispressing the button, but it's just so weird with him. Kicking is not fun with that guy. And that's six points that we should have on the board now. Second half, one minute 26 to be played. Let's go with a wide trail here. That's Waddle on the short run. We're gonna put Hill onto the slant. I wanna see what happens. Can we get him free on the right hand side well, that's waddle all right he's getting pushed in all directions second and two gonna go for a bench here cedric wilson all right first and ten that was actually a beautiful catch i think i'm sometimes underestimating cedric wilson because I don't want to really go for him that often, but when I do, he always surprises me. I mean, that was a difficult catch. Left foot, right foot, there we go. Beautiful. Let's see, can we get this one going here? Tyreek Hill to the left, Jalen Waddle to the right. Oh, slightly too high. Went for a high throw there. 
to the southeast corner. Uh, I think they're countering that. So we're going to go with Kisiki. And that was not high enough. Can we please tackle him? Dude, how many players does it need? The 34. Should have gone for a high pass, maybe? But they were just covering that quite well. Another field goal. 10 seconds to play. I could have handled that better. So let's go. What do we do? Which pass options do we have here? I'm gonna go with the dagger. Get into position quickly. Go, 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 go. And off we go. Dude. Play action crossers. This is a super steep run here by Hill. We are still in the mix. Um, not yet. Not yet out of the picture. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. That was a super weird tackle by the Steelers. Uh, to be honest, I'm not feeling... I'm not feeling... Uh, that we are capable of, um, that we're capable of, of, of handling this team. I can't really tell you why, but uh, it just feels like uh, our, our uh, offense isn't isn't really on par. I went for the squib kick there, stopping them at the thirty-seven. And another field goal. I mean, they're not really, they're not pulling anything off here. Nothing, nothing really out of the ordinary, but we're not, uh, we're not capable of, of, of getting the ball in. And with a kicker this bad, I'm actually quite shocked. Either they, Jesus Christ, either they changed uh, how, how uh, kicks work. Um, but a 50-yard goal usually isn't that hard to hit, especially not when uh, when you've got the the throw power set like that, uh, the kick power. Third and ten. Still nothing. Can we get Mike Kasiki in a good position now? Let's see. Right, that does look promising, but number 55 is just like it, I don't know, accelerating so quickly. Ah, weird. It's a bit weird. Uh, takes Each Madden version takes uh, getting used to. It does hurt a little bit that it's Teddy Bridgewater that's hurting us right now. Yeah. Number 18 was standing there just uh, waiting for the pass to happen, but uh, that's not how it works. I'm going to look for Chase Edmonds now. Maybe Cedric Wilson will get free. Not quite sure, though. Can we get a Tyree kill on a... What do we want? Let's put him on... Let's put him on an out. Wilson to the left. Edmonds is my backup. Alright, there we go. Kasiki, five yards, third and four, six yards on the pickup. Uh, this is difficult. Um, I remember the, I remember the Steelers' defense and them being extremely hard hitting. When I did the rebuild with them, they were just really, really uh, a backbone, and I think I managed to get. Uh, the rebuild done in one season that was a little bit surprising uh, because I thought it would take longer 
Uh, Hill or Gisiki, I think one of these two would be a good choice. Yeah. Not really. Do we have to punt or do we have to endure another bad field goal attempt by Jason Sanders? Not Miles Sanders. Jason Sanders. So there we go. Slightly inaccurate. But how are we going to score a field goal? Is that going to be short again? I mean... All right, we need a new kicker. We need a new kicker. This He's costing us. Our defense is, is doing absolutely fantastic, but we should have nine points by now. Way less pressure on us to uh, perform the long plays, which we can't pull off at the moment because the safeties are too strong. The edge rushers are coming for us too quickly. Was that... Oh. Uh, Larry Ogan Joby is injured here. What do we do? What do we do? Doesn't seem like I can pull off anything really here. Let's try Wilson, maybe Hill. Come on. Okay. No. Not even an attempt by uh, by Kisiki to jump. So what? Let's go to the left side. 12 and 0. We're the home team. That uh, truly hurt. Oh my god. 4th and 20. I would really like to show you. show you better games. But uh, this is just horrendous. This is just really bad. We are. I, I do really feel like we're. we're a little bit helpless. The short routes aren't working. Uh, the uh, the long routes aren't working because they're closed down by the safeties. Um, the defenders are not uh, getting in range, and then we're getting picked off. Come on, dude! Thanks for that, Terrell Edmonds, with the pick. 18 and 0. We're the home team. Let me just remind you of that. Ready, ready. I'm really a bit uh, ready. speechless on one hand side, and I'm uh, a little bit disappointed. Um, actually, I'm, I'm clueless. I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what the problem is at the moment. Um, but nothing seems to be working. You see that Tyreek Hill, star receiver, gets the ball. I went for for a for a for a running catch, and he didn't get the ball. He just couldn't hold on to the ball, couldn't keep it safe. We can connect with the receivers sometimes, but when it counts, it's not happening. I'm not gonna wait for that. Really now the field is upheld. All right, that is good. Let's go with the mesh spot here. Tyree kill right hand side run. Maybe Wilson. Maybe Waddle. I'll just try and get catches for the players to uh, at least maybe improve their experience gains. Jesus Christ! I mean, what is that? Is that no pass interference? How can that not be pass interference? Just going on a streak run, and uh, the defender just runs into him, pushes him over. How can that not be an aggressive catch? Is not working. I don't know what to do anymore. Fourth and three. Go with the jet New Orleans. Yeah, that's not gonna work. We're not gonna pull that off, are we? Let's go with the four vertical. I didn't wanna press that. 
I have to go for the four verticals. I'm gonna be looking for a bottle again. I'm just gonna try it. I need to get the ball to him. It's not happening. Connor Williams, our center, picks up an injury as the Steelers push their advantage up to three touchdowns and an extra point. And we are just absolutely getting demolished. All right, Kisiki holds onto the ball after we connect on a high catch here. Can we complete that? No, we cannot complete that before the two minute mark. But it's 22 and 0. We're gonna go to the southeast corner now. Tyreek Hill, left hand side run here towards the outside. That's usually his strength. And there we go. There we go. We're gonna go for Dolphins wide corner. I wanna get one touchdown. Yeah, that was that was Wilson who adjusted to my bad throw. Alright, let's see. Wilson, maybe Hill. Yeah. That was awesome. Throw another run across body, but what was the penalty? Alright, it's counting us as defense. I don't want to play those. I only want to play the offensive snaps. Alright. So we took care of that one, but uh, there it is, Super Sim. Wasn't there before. Custom play options, play all offense. There we go, game is over. A shutout at home. A shutout at home. Just gonna let that sink in. 22 and 0. As Teddy Bridgewater comes back to haunt us. But, uh, yeah. Next week, away game versus the Lions. So, ending the episode here. I'm gonna go cry myself into my sleep now. 0 and 7. No excuses anymore. Our team is just terrible. Um, it's just absolutely terrible. We are having such a bad season. And uh, all pretense of us being able to pull off anything is, I mean, it's out of the window. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games left, and we need seven games to at least reach our minimum target of getting seven season wins. Um, I'm actually relieved that I didn't go for didn't go for a higher target there. But uh, yeah, without a win right now, and. Uh, at the bottom of the AFC East. And I think that has to be the worst start to a franchise series I've ever done and I've ever experienced when playing Madden. So guys, I can only apologize to the to the Dolphins fans out there. I mean, I myself have become a little bit of a fan myself and it's hurting me, it's hurting me so much. You can't even, can't even put it into words. So uh, I'm just gonna say thank you for, for enduring this with me. Thank you for being at my side. Uh, I can only, tell you that I'm doing my best here um, and that I'm as uh, aghast as you are and uh, yeah thanks for watching uh, please drop me a like out of sympathy <laughs> um, and, and subscribe if you like this kind of content uh, I promise things will get better at some point in the future but uh, that point in the future is not today maybe next week against the Lions uh, we'll have to see um, maybe we'll get the 0 and 17 season without really wanting to do that. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. See you next time.